Assalamu alaikum and welcome back to Technology Explore. My name is Usman Chaudhary and uh, today in this video I am going to tell you how to assemble the excavator in SolidWorks. So basically you are also going to learn how these excavator works. So keep watching this video till end. If you want to download these files for your practice I will leave the download link in the description of this video. Let's start by making a new assembly. Uh, so first of all import this outer rail and inner uh, guide rail in the assembly press ok button then uh, if you can see inner guide rail is fixed so make it float by right click on it and then select float now select this face and this face make the coincentric mate then select this face and this face make coincident mate and also for this side make a concentric mate of this face and this face then expand the inner guide rail uh, features and from here select its front plane and uh, the front plane of uh, the whole assembly and make coincident similarly top plane with top plane the coincident mate and right plane with right plane coincident made now import the step wheel shaft these three things in the assembly um, one thing you should have to consider is that uh, this shaft and this wheel has two uh, two sides one with the point at the an another side there is no point similarly th th there is a point and on the other side there is no point on the shaft so we have to make sure that both uh, shaft and wheel have the same sides um, of the uh, point so now make a coincentric mate of shaft and wheel then coincident mate of both these faces after that select this face of the shaft and this face of the step make concentric mate and then select this face and this face make coincident mate now make this a copy of both these things on this hole so here it is now import the link in the assembly rotate it like this then select this face of the wheel um, uh, uh, link and this face of the shaft and make the concentric mate and then select this face and this face make coincident mate after that uh, we must have to make this point downward so to make it short click on the wheel and expand it from its top plane with this face make the parallel mate now uh, select this face of the shaft and this face of the track make coincident mate after that uh, click and drag this step like this like this so now what we have to do um, first of all click on this inner rail and expand its sweep one and make this um, sketch one unhide then we have to make the path mate so select mate and from here uh, uh, in the advanced mate select path mate then select this point which is in the middle uh, the shaft and then select selection manager and select this path if you can see this is the path of inner rail and then press ok button then press ok button now make a duplicate of this step both shafts and bearing so here it is now select this face and this face make the coinc coincident mate now make a duplicate of this link then select this face and this face make the coincentric mate 
now select this face and this face make co concentric mid after that select this inner inside face of the link and uh, the outside face of the another link and make the coincident mate between them after that import the link shaft into the assembly select this face and this face of the link and make co concentric mate then select this face of the link and this face of the uh, link shaft make coincident mate now make a duplicate of the wheel select this face and this face make concentric mate now select this face and this face make coincident mate after that select this wheel expand its features and uh, from its top plane with this face make the parallel mate like this now press space bar and arrange a view arrange the view like this move the steps uh, on this upper side then rearrange um, the step like this right click on this step and make it fixed so now we can easily uh, rotate this step also right click on this link and then make it fix now you can rotate it like this so now right click in this, uh, on this link and make it float also make the uh, this step float by right click and then select float now make a path made of this um, this point which is which is in the mid of this shaft of this downside shaft so select mate then advanced mates path mate select this point selection manager and select this path of inner rail if you can see like this press ok button again press ok button once again rearrange the view Now select this wheel and expand its features, select its top plane and this face, make the parallel mate like this. Now go to mate again, advanced mates and path mate, select this point, selection manager and this uh, path of outer rail, if you can see then press ok button again press ok button it's a bit tricky uh, thing to do this these uh, path mates so be careful now we have to make the path mate of this point and this path so for that mate advanced mates path mate this point selection manager and this path press ok button again press ok button so uh, one last path made rearrange the view like this so uh, one last pa uh, path made with this point and this path so made advanced mates path mate and this point selection manager and this line as a path press ok button again press ok button so um, now we can check how our assembly works so for that click and drag these steps like this So if you can see they are working. So this is how the escalator works. 
I hope you have enjoyed and learned from this video. Thanks for watching and sparing time. And if you liked this video, please do subscribe to my YouTube channel for more videos like this.